On this episode of Natural Living Homestead, we're going to tell you all about our cast iron cookware and how we season it. Ew! Would you look at this pan? I'll show you how to get it cleaned up here. So we've got a really dirty pan here and I'll show you how to clean it real easy. This is one of my newer pans. It is also a lodge. It's a ten and a half inch skillet. And uh, this is the first time I used it. I made some brats in it on the grill. And uh, whenever I do that, I use a can of bear to cam caramelize the, the brats. So you end up with a, something that looks like this afterwards. What you can do is put a little coarse salt in there. And then work everything loose with that salt. Just like that. It'll start to bind everything else to the salt. And then you can just pour it right out. Throw in a little more salt if you need to. Salt's cheap. Now this is actually one of the bigger messes that I've ever had with cast iron. The reason why is because this skillet wasn't as seasoned as what I would normally use them. And that's because I didn't take the time to give it a good seasoning before using it. You can see how that takes that out of there really quick. So basically it's just stripping the pan back down. Now if you were to leave salt and water in this pan, it would rust, rust very quickly. Yeah, you gotta watch if you have a uh, porcelain sink, or even uh, what else do they make? Cast iron sinks. Uh, my mom has a cast iron sink. You gotta be uh, pretty careful with cast iron in a cast iron sink. There we go. Got the rest of it out right there. We can take, turn the water on. And get all that sediment out, all that salt, the rest of that oil. Do is wipe that out one more time. When you get a pan seasoned the way it should be, it'll almost be non-stick after a while. So now we can just go ahead and rinse that whole pan out. Rinse the bottom off. So there's nothing else on the pan. Just let it drain for a second. Now you can go ahead and dry it on your burner. So we can set our burner on there. And now this will start to dry off on this pan. These I'm going to wipe down one more time with some oil. And you can use all sorts of oil. You can use bacon grease, whatever you want. Um, I preferably use, like to use bacon grease in mine. The reason why is I think it gives the uh, pan a great flavor. So, as you're looking at this pan right here, you can see how the moisture on this pan is cooking right off. So it won't give the pan a chance to rust. It just real quickly get the water off the pan. Well, once you got the water out of the bottom of the pan, there's still going to be water on the outside. So you got to get that pan nice and hot to get it all off. So we'll let this one go just a little longer. And uh, like I said, this one is a lodge, I believe. This is a uh, ten and a half inch lodge skillet. Just like the last pan. What we're going to do is stick this back on the burner for it to start to dry. This one's a lot more seasoned than this one is. So here in a minute we'll start to season this pan. It takes a while to season a pan. Um, it doesn't just happen overnight to get where you've got a real good season on a pan. You're going to do it quite a few times. This is my new grill. I got this 
at uh, Goodwill. I think I paid eight dollars for it. Is that right? Eight dollars for this grill. It's a lodge, and uh, it's probably one of my new favorites. There's not a whole lot to clean out of this thing. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to, since it is used, I'm going to run a little bit of an abrasive on it for anything that might possibly be sticking. And again, this is just a coarse salt. And it's gonna go on the skillet. Yeah, it's gonna start to dry. So right now in the oven I've got my first set of everything that I'm seasoning. And I'm getting ready to do a second set because I've got that much cast iron right now. Okay, just got done washing this pan. This is actually my first cast iron skillet I've ever had. And that was that's a stand sport. Came in a package with a Dutch oven, a lid, and another pan. There's still a little salt in this one, see that? We have to get that out. It's okay to use a brush like this. A little soap and water. You gotta clean the spot. Um, most important thing is that you get the pan completely clean before you go to season it again. There you go. So we'll put this one back on the skillet. Back on the stove top. Put the skillet on the stove top. There we go. Alright, as you can see, this one's starting to really dry. I've got one more pan to go. I do also have this, um, it's just a little decoration. We use it for a decoration, but it, it makes a good grill. Griddle if you need it to. Um, let's go ahead and clean this up because there's a little rust hair on the back. Just a little salt and a little bit of water will take that rust right off. Dampen your cloth. And that'll take that rust right off. Now it'll build surface rust immediately. So what we need to do, is we need to go through this our regular steps of process here. Rinse this thing off, and we'll get it on a burner finish drying. This one looks pretty good. We'll take this one off, set it here. That one goes on in place of it. Okay, so this little black one's dry now. It didn't take it long. It's just a small little pan. So let's go ahead and get this one back on it. Come over here. See that? And since the pores on the pan are open right now, what's happening is it's soaking that, that oil right up. So now let's look in the oven. How do you know when it's done? You know when it's done when the pan has soaked in the oil. This stuff here can go another 20 minutes. So now, all we have to do is just wait. We have our top burners off, and the other pans are in there. This is the second load that'll go into the oven tonight to be seasoned. I can't help it. When I see cast iron at a yard sale, I just gotta get it. 